Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam or Jaws, and welcome to my very first Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Um, actually, that's kind of a lie. I already did a uh, live commentary for my very first um, match that I played on the game, which will be uploaded uh, the first day that Modern Warfare 3 actually comes out uh, when I can start putting up videos on my YouTube channel. But for now, I'm going to have to host them on other websites uh, like the one that you're watching this one on right now uh, in order for you guys to watch them. And, uh, well, actually, you might not be watching this on another website. This might be on YouTube. If it is, it'll be on someone else's channel, and my link will be in the description of this video because uh, I'm letting other people who uh, aren't afraid about getting strikes on their channel aren't afraid about losing their channels uh, upload this uh, there because then you guys get to see my gameplay so um, anyway uh, this is Modern Warfare 3 this match right here is a team deathmatch gameplay on the map Baccarat and um, I wanted to uh, give you guys not really a first impressions video because I have already played uh, Modern Warfare 3 I got to play it at um, I got to sneak in and play Modern Warfare 3 way back at um, Comic-Con with White Boy 7th Street that was actually my idea and Alex will tell you that too um, he was a little bit hesitant a little bit scared to sneak back into the room and just pretend it's sort of like we own the place and, and play uh, the game but I, I was like all for it because I thought it would be cool as hell and I knew it would make for a great story so I I did that and uh, he came with me too and uh, then also got to play obviously at Call of Duty XP where everyone really got to play uh, you know all your favorite commentators were there uh, so anyway um, you know this is the, my first time though with the full game getting to experience everything that it has to offer um, but keep in mind you know I'm still leveling up I'm still you know experiencing it uh, still checking out all the maps so take everything that I say with a grain of salt and I know this is a long introduction uh, but I want to let you guys know I am going to be doing a bunch of these commentaries before the game comes out probably one or two a day uh, over some not so great gameplays just because I know you guys want to see some gameplay uh, from the game and I want you, you guys want to see it just because you know, uh, you know it, it's there it's easy enough for me to do it I've got a good computer everything's fast blah 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 all that sort of stuff so um, anyway with all that out of the way um, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is Modern Warfare 2.1 um, I ran in, and I, I didn't want to say this, I didn't want to uh, get him in trouble, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, me and White Boy ran into Comic-Con, or ran into Josh Allen at Comic-Con, and he, we even said, you know, what do you think of Modern Warfare 3, did you play it? Because, you know, we got to play it, and we, we were almost sure he did too. And he even said, you mean Modern Warfare 2.5? And that sort of sums it up, you know, uh, pretty easily. I mean, even this map looks just like Strike. The textures, you know, a lot of the stuff that's in the map, it's like, you know, it's not built the same way, but it looks just like, you know, a Modern Warfare 2 map. And a lot of people might say that that's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? A lot of people might say, oh, well, yeah, Infinity Ward made the game. Of course, it's going to look like, you know, their last game. Look at the difference and the improvement, or the improvement between uh, Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. And look at the improvement between World at War and Black Ops. Look at how different those games were, and then look at the difference between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Extremely, extremely disappointing to say the least. Um, now, I, I know a lot of people don't want to hear me hate on the game. No one wants me. No, no one wants to hear me say, "Oh, this is a bad game." Especially if you're about to spend sixty dollars on it. But what I'm trying to do is be as honest as possible with you guys about this game. So let's talk about you know some specifics for the game. Um, the first thing I'll say is that I'm experiencing a lot of lag on right now. So that makes it a little difficult for me. In this gameplay right here, I was on a two or three bar almost the entire time. And in other good gameplays that I got, I was as well. Um, it looks as though the game is going to run about as smoothly as Modern Warfare 2 did. It's not really going to have any serious problems, but it's not, you know, again, not many improvements from the previous games. Um, as far as the guns go that are in the game, um, and the, the dominant ones, I'll say this, the, the 50 cal right here that I was using, not very good. Um, it looks like there's one or two really good sniper rifles, the L1181 or something like that, the second sniper rifle you get. Uh, seems to be a pretty good bolt action sniper rifle. Um, the SCAR, uh, the SCAR H that we saw in Modern Warfare 2 that was actually a pretty damn good weapon, uh, I was even using competitive play, is my favorite gun so far out of all the assault rifles that I've unlocked, but it's not that great of a gun overall. It's, de it's decent, it's not that good with the red dot has a fair amount of recoil and that's another thing about all the guns they all seem to have recoil which is good I think it you know require it may, makes it so that it requires a little bit more skill to use all the weapons uh, but if you put kick on it it kind of removes all that I kind of wish they didn't put kick in the game because then some players are playing with a really big advantage in that regard and some players aren't it just complicates things and I don't really like that too much um, but I would say that um, 
the, the definitely the dominant assault rifle that I've used so far is one that I picked up called the Type 95. It's basically the FAMAS, and it is very, very good. Um, you know, it's a three burst weapon. Even looks a, a bit like the FAMAS. Um, it's it's just you know it, it seems like it's gonna be Mono Warfare 2 all over again with the FAMAS being the best you know assault rifle. Well, now this will probably be the best assault rifle. Uh, the Type 95 that is. Um, again, I haven't unlocked all the weapons, so I don't know for sure. The AK-47 is still yet to be unlocked. Uh, the P90 and the UMP seem to be the two best SMGs out of all the ones uh, that I've used. Um, as far as kill streaks go, I've been sticking so far just to really simple stuff: UAV, Predator missile, uh, uh, AC-130, uh, which I have, actually haven't got to use yet. I'm playing a lot of Search and Destroy. I'm trying to rank up quickly that way I can get you guys gameplay with all the stuff that you know people aren't getting until the higher levels. Um, that way I can get that out to you as soon as the game is released, and even before the game is released. So I'll see if I can get you that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, most of the kill streaks pretty standard, nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, Juggernaut's nothing special. Fearcrads did a video on it actually that I will link you guys to in the description. I will actually I can't link you guys to, the, to it in the description of this video. But if you go to youtube.com forward slash fearcrads, that's fear and then C R A D S, uh, you'll find. Um, a video there about of him talking about Juggernaut and how it's really not that overpowered because you have to use that riot shield and you're slow and it's just not that great. Um, what else is, is in the game that people were talking about? Uh, people were talking about the different uh, assault uh, support strike packages. Uh, the the assault package is definitely you know the better players package to use. You get those nice kill streaks that get you a lot of kills. Uh, the support package is good for players who just I'm gonna be honest I'm not gonna sugarcoat it who aren't that good who have a more difficult time putting together uh, kill streaks. Um, they can get you know five seven kills whatever they need to in uh, as much time as they want between as many deaths as they want uh, because it doesn't matter you still get the point streak for it whatever. Um, and then the specialist package, just not worth it in compared to getting like a nice AC-130. I don't need those extra perks really that bad. Uh, they're not that great. Uh, the perks I've been using is Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and uh, Stalker. Uh, I can't wait to get Dead Silence. The third perk, Stalker, just isn't that great. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, start sending me questions on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash xjaws. Uh, links to my YouTube and my Twitter should be in the description of this video if it's uploaded on someone else's channel. Um, follow me. I'm linking to more gameplay there. And uh, also, I can answer questions there. Questions there, excuse me. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.